This is the EOIDC. This is my old stomping grounds. I used to come here every single day after school in like third, fourth, and fifth grade. And I did everything from African dance, still pan drumming, ceramics, you name it. Actually, this is where I got started with dance, to be honest. Right here, there was a huge picture of me up there for like ten, over 10 years. And I wrote it a few years ago because I used to be a school teacher. I used to teach third grade. And okay, so it's called Pumpkin Learns to Read because I didn't know how to read. Hey, who got nicknames in here? Most of y'all got a nickname, right? Somebody call you something other than your first name. And y'all know I have a soft spot for little kids or younger kids. So, of course, I'm going to be in there talking to them. And I don't talk to kids like they're little. I talk to them like they're people because they are. Get surprised. So we started doing that. And I would never finish. But I also know how important it is for me to come home and to read this book. Hey, hey. Hey, family. Hey, family. We're out here supporting Crystal as she tried to... <laughs> Stop saying I'm a professional. You better be yourself. Be Uncle Kirk. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, family. We're out here trying to support Crystal. <laughs> look who came out. I look a hot mess. Why are you doing it's this? Okay. It's the kidney. It's, it's the nice. kidney. <laughs> I'm born and bred right here in East Oakland from Brookfield. I uh, lived on 78 Plymouth. My dad still lives on 84th. My cousins, nieces, and nephews, they're all over here. But I live in LA, um, and I've been... Uh, clawing my way in the entertainment industry. Me coming home is not about me. This is about me paying, repaying a debt. To whom much is given, much is required. And as much as I was afforded, all the privileges that I was afforded through programs like the EOYDC and others, I had to come back. 